から私、サトちゃんといたい。サトちゃんと幸せなまま終わりたい。だから、一緒に死のう、サトちゃん。There are many different kinds of romantic relationships in anime. Some are cute and romantic, others are a deep connection between two souls, and some are just flat out weird. As for this list, that's what we will be exploring. We'll be looking at some of the couples whose relationships are really, really bad. Because of this, this article will be talking about some things that could be upsetting, like abuse. So be careful. Some of the couples on this list of toxic anime couples are just terrible at being together. With the help of a marriage counselor, Goku and Chi Chi from Dragon Ball Z might be able to work out their problems, but some relationships are so bad that they just can't be fixed. Anyone seen Happy Sugar Life? Yeah. The relationship between Sato and Shio is so bad that it's hard to talk about it without feeling sick. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get right into it. Coming in number 10 is Seiji Yagiri and Mika Harima from Do Ra Ra Ra. Seiji Yagiri is in love with a head in a jar that floats. This head belongs to a Dullahan named Selti, but since it's not with her, it can't really talk and doesn't seem to be aware of anything really. Seiji's older sister Namie has a girl named Mika Harima surgically changed to look like Selti's head was put on someone else's body. She does this to help Seiji get over his obsession. She acts like Selti for a while, but in the end, she is really Mika. Why did Mika let this happen? Because she is a stalker who followed Seiji so much that he had to get physical to protect himself. She would do anything, no matter how painful or dangerous, to be with him. After he finds out who Mika really is, he agrees to be with her until he can find a way to be with the floating head he really loves. Surprisingly, it doesn't really get much worse than that, but there is one more awful thing. Namie did all this because she likes her teenage brother in a romantic way, not because she is a good sister. So, it's not surprising that the kid doesn't know what a healthy relationship looks like. Coming in number 9 is Lad Russo and Luo Klein from Pakano. Lad Russo is a sadistic hitman who gets a rush from killing people. Lua Klein, the woman he is going to marry, is one of the people he wants to hurt the most. Not because he hates her, but because he loves her so much that he thinks killing her is the best way to show how much he cares. Aww, isn't that just romantic? What? And surprisingly, it's just as romantic to Lua. She wants Lad to kill her and enjoy it. He plans to do it after he's killed a lot of other people, so it probably won't happen for a long time. But it's not like this is just a dark but harmless fantasy, because they both want it to happen one day. Any relationship where the goal is to kill the other person has to be called toxic. Coming in at number 8 is Yukiteru Amano and Yuno Kasai from Future Diary. Given the situation, the fact that Yuno Kasai will kill people for Yukiteru Amano isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world. They are playing a survival game that requires them to do so. But Yuno isn't just trying to get them out of a dangerous situation, she's also trying to get Yukiteru all to herself at any cost. This means that she won't just kill people who threaten him, but also those who get too close to him. She will even threaten Yukiteru if she thinks he might leave her. This relationship is so bad、uh, that it can't be saved. Coming in at number 7 is Mugi Awaya and Hanabi Yasuraoka, Scum's Wish. Hanabi and Mugi start dating not because they like each other, but because they both want to pretend they're with someone else, someone they can't be with. In Mugi's case, he loves Akane Minagawa, who used to be his tutor and is now his teacher. As for Hanabi, she has a crush on Narumi Kanai, an older family friend who is also her teacher. Both of them can't act on their real feelings, so they agree to make up a relationship to drown their feelings in each other. At the same time, both Mugi and Hanabi have friends who really care about them, but can't show it. The two try to start a real relationship with With each other so that they can get over their impossible feelings for each other. However, Mugi meets Miss Minagawa, who is obsessed with being wanted and uses men, and teenage boys especially, to feed that need. Everything about it is just a nightmare. Coming at number six is Sora and Judge Vinsmoke, One Piece. Any relationship in which one person doesn't care about the other person's thoughts or body autonomy is pretty awful. 
Sora and Judge, who are Sanji's parents, are in the same situation. Judge thinks that the only thing that makes people valuable is their strength and that emotions are useless and wasteful. Sora, on the other hand, thinks it's important for people to feel all kinds of emotions and doesn't only value physical strength. If they just didn't agree with each other but respected their differences, that'd be fine. But Judge doesn't just laugh at Sora's ideas, he also makes her go through a dangerous experimental surgery to change the brains of their unborn children. Yeah, this turns them into violent emotions emotionless, powerful people who go against everything she cares about. The medicine she takes to try to stop the surgery from happening, along with the stress of the surgery itself, hurts her health and eventually kills her. After that, Judge doesn't seem to feel much regret. He's just happy to have full control over his kids. Coming in number 5 is Masamune Goto and Kyoko Koda from March Comes In Like a Lion. Masamune Goto is in his mid-40s and married to a woman who is dying. He is cheating on his sick wife with a very young woman named Kyoko Koda, who already has a lot of family problems to deal with. This kind of relationship is bad enough as it is, so imagine how his poor wife must feel. But it gets worse from there. Goto is physically abusive to Kyoko. He has been seen hitting her more than once. Kyoko is still very attached to Goto even though he treats her so badly, and she tries very hard to stay in his life even when he seems to be trying to end things. This bothers Kyoko's adopted brother Rei. Even though Kyoko has been very cruel to him emotionally since they were kids, that's just how bad things are. <laughs> Coming in number 4 is Satu Matsuzaka and Shio Kobe, Happy Sugar Life. Happy Sugar Life is a horror anime about a horrible relationship between a teenager named Sato and the small child she stole. She came from a bad family and her mother eventually kicked her out. Sato took care of her. Sato doesn't try to find an adult who can take good care of Shio, instead she does it herself. But she doesn't want to become a teenage adoptive mom. Instead, she falls in love with the little girl and tries to kill anyone who tries to keep them from being together. This includes people like Shio's brother, who actually loves and cares about her in a mostly non-harmful way. She ends up not letting Shio go outside at all and making her love Sato more than anyone else. For this reason, the two even have a fake wedding. Sato dies when she uses her body to protect Shio as the two of them jump off the roof. Shio lives through it, but it breaks her heart, and she still feels like she loves Sato. What a happy sugar life, huh? Coming in number 3 is Sakura Haruno and Sasuke Uchiha from Naruto. If you ask a fan of Naruto what they didn't like about Baruto, they'll probably say that Sakura and Sasuke got together. And that makes sense, since the relationship is poisonous as hell. It starts with Sakura gushing over Sasuke even though he doesn't like her at all, and punching Naruto for getting in the way of her time with him. Sasuke treats her badly and insults her all the time. This is exaggerated, but this is still pretty typical behavior for a 12 year old. But from there, things get a lot worse. At one point, Sasuke even tries to kill Sakura. Sakura has no reason to forgive him for this, but she brushes it off and does so anyway. But she can't forget how he acted politically against Konoha. His family was hurt by the government, but Sakura doesn't care about his very real problems and doesn't try very hard to understand why he's angry. After they get married and have a child, Sasuke goes on so many missions that he doesn't even recognize his own daughter. Even though he seems to want to fix this, he doesn't do anything about it until Sarada is 12 which means he's been ignoring his relationship for at least that long. By then, it's really too late to do anything. Basically, this is a relationship where it's okay for them to hurt each other, and where it's also okay for them not to understand or support each other. Coming in number 2 is Misa Amane and Light Yagami from Death Note. Light Yagami has shown that he can't have a healthy relationship with anyone, but for now we'll just talk about how bad his relationship with Misa Amane is. Misa finds Light by using her Shinigami eyes and good old fashioned sleuthing. This is the start of their relationship. At first, she just wants to thank him for killing the man who killed her parents. But when she sees that he's hot, she decides that she wants to date him and help him kill criminals for the rest of her life. At first, Light doesn't believe her, but he soon realizes that she can help him with his plan to become the god of the new world. Not exactly what you would call a loving couple. And number one goes to Makoto Ito and every girl he knows in school days. This huge mess 
can't be left out of any video about bad relationships. Makoto Ito, the main character in a harem story, at first seems to be a nice guy who wants to date Kotonoha Katsura. Because Kotonoha isn't ready for sexual activity, he gets bored and starts sleeping with Sekai Saionji, the girl who set him up with Kotonoha in the first place. When Sekai doesn't like the idea and wants to break up with Makoto if he doesn't tell Kotonoha the truth, Makoto tells Sekai a lie and says he broke up with Kotonoha even though he didn't. And after that, he sleeps with almost every girl he meets and tells each one a lie about what he really wants. In the end, they all leave him because he won't talk to Sekai, who says she's pregnant but won't talk to him. While everyone except Kotonoha, who is crazy about Makoto, Sekai finally gets so angry with him that she stabs him. Kotonoha finds his body and cuts off his head. Then she goes to Sekai and kills her. She then leaves on a boat with Makoto's head in her arms. I still remember watching this and I'm still fucked up to this day. This entire series, this entire show, this entire game, whatever you want to call it, is just beyond fucked up. Well anyways, agree? Disagree? Are there any other relationships that are really bad that we haven't thought of? Tell us in the comment section down below, as I'd love to hear other toxic relationships that are in anime. Also, if you'd like to support me, consider becoming a member of the channel, as I make exclusive content for members only. Also, don't forget to like, share, and definitely don't forget to subscribe. And as for now, I'll catch you later. See you in the next one.